Hello and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. My name is Stephanie and I'm the creative behind my print collection. On today's, tut on today's tutorial we are going to create this gloss effect with a pop of shadow. For this tutorial I'm going to use the ribbon and gloss appropriate brush set that I have available on my website. The link is down below, you can check them out if you want, but to create this um, effect you don't need to use my set, you can use the standard Procreate brushes for, from the Procreate app. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos with instructions and tutorials on how to best use these brushes. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications. A new tutorial will be posted every Tuesday. Let's open the Procreate app, open a new canvas. I already have my work ready to go for this project. Let's turn the layer on. We are gonna use this word glossy. I'm going to add a new layer and we are going to draw on that one. The layer underneath, I'm gonna select, click here and reduce the opacity to see what I'm doing. On the top layer, we are gonna start drawing my letters. So, for this project, I'm gonna select the color black, good. And once again, I'm gonna use my ribbon and gloss Procreate brush set. You don't have to use this set, I do think that it's easier uh, and will speed up the process of your drawing, but you can use any brush from the standard Procreate brush set. So I'm gonna go and use a brush called Gloss Splash. I'm on that layer. So this brush, the cool thing about it, it gives that little splash on the edges. If you can like see, see how cool this splash over here. So I'm gonna see the size, if I like it, I don't like it. So this size is good. So I'm gonna start drawing my letters. So over here, slowly, so that the brush can follow your stroke. So like this. So now I'm going to close the letters, so I'm going to go to my brushes and select my pen splash. So my pen splash works like this. If you go down, let me increase the size so that you can see, if you go down, the effect will be on your left. If you 
go up. The effect will be on your right. This is useful when you're uh, closing your, the gap between the letters to see where to go with the stroke. So you can have on the same um, side so that you can have the defect on the same side as your lettering. So let's see the size. I think this is good. So let's close. So going down. Here I have to go up. that you have 
have a bounce effect, you can have, you have a shadow effect over here. Now to add some gloss, what we're going to do is add a new layer, select the color white, just make it select and go to this layer, brush and the air brush is selected and let's add some glow. Plus effect with a shadow on the background. If you like this tutorial or if you want to see other ones like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel. See you soon and happy drills!